everybody, I'm John McClellan, and this is Poor Choice, the funniest booze reviews bar none. Every week, with a couple of exceptions, like the show I did on uh, malt liquor or single malt scotch, I drink the worst liquor on earth. I like to tell people what they're getting into right up front. These are humorous drinking videos. Not one of those bullshit, only one in eight will get this right math puzzles that you see on social media where you have to add and subtract and multiply a bunch of shoes, bananas, and clocks. I like to tell you what you're getting into up front because in the world of alcohol, you don't always know what you're getting into up front. And the products, they're the ones to blame. There's a low-rent beer that touts itself as high life. There's a bottom-shelf vodka that goes by the name Pinnacle. Sometimes you do know what's about to happen, and I will be reviewing one of those items today on the show. The taste of this hooch is the name of this hooch. Bitters. What exactly are bitters? It's a concoction made from herbs, bark, roots, and some fruit mixed with a neutral spirit. And this red color, it originally came from crushed up bugs. To me, this sounds less like a proper drink and more like what a survivalist who wears a turtleneck with a chain on the outside would come up with. Officially, what we are drinking today is classified as a bitter red aperitif. And an aperitif is a drink you have before the meal to open up your appetite. The way it works is the flavor on these aperitifs are usually pretty bad, so you shove a bunch of food in your mouth to kill the taste of what you just drank. The term aperitif comes from the Italian word aperitivo, which describes the Italian custom of having a drink and a little food before dinner. With all the herbs, roots, and fruit in here, you're essentially drinking a salad, so you can handle both ends of this deal in one shot. For the most part, bitter red aperitifs are used in cocktails, like the Negroni, to balance the flavor, but it can be drank straight. I've seen, with my own eyes, people drink this straight, and after they proved to me they weren't being blackmailed or pledging a fraternity, they would tell me this is an acquired taste. Acquired. Much in the same way a machete wound is acquired cosmetic surgery. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's like gasoline. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. If you had a little motor oil, you could run a weed whacker. Ah, uh, uh, this would be good for getting stains out of your clothes, vomit stains specifically. Uh, since it's red, you don't know if you're vomiting blood, though. Ah, uh, horrible. Get worse. I told you what we were getting into, and we're in it. Now, how do we get out of it? A bitter red aperitif doesn't smell like regular booze that a cop could identify on your breath if you got pulled over. So if they ask you why you were driving erratically, tell them you have food poisoning, which you technically do because this stuff is made with ingredients you could technically eat. If you're able to time a red bitter's vomit shower during the conversation, you could ride home safely in an ambulance knowing that you stuck it to the man. Don't forget to add your comments. I love to read them. I'm John McClellan, and thank you for watching Poor Choice.